Look at that. Should I say value for money? He even got it on a splitter. But the quality of it really, really is good. How about this for a toy? Hello. So let's talk about toys. And I'm not talking about kiddies toys. I'm talking about paddle boards, kayaks, e-bikes, and lots of other things. And I wanted to start with a company, which to be honest with you, I go back way back. They don't know I exist or anything like that. But when I first moved down to painting all those years ago, I used to go into the shop in Torquay each weekend. I absolutely loved it. And that is Two Bare Feet. Now, Two Bare Feet is a company which you will all be well aware of. They've got the paddle boards, which you will see on the beach. If you've been to a beach in Cornwall at any time this summer, you will have seen these paddle boards. Something you might not have seen before is these. Look at these. These are inflatable bodyboards and they're absolutely perfect. 65 quid and they're absolute genius. They are absolutely superb. I think my daughter is on the lookout for a new one and that may well be coming to our house very soon. Something else I like and they've even got it in my brand colours. Look at these skateboards. I did talk about this cheap skateboard which I bought, that Volkswagen one, the VW official produce one, which is great, which you might have seen on my wall but that is actually one which you could ride. That would be absolutely perfect for me. But they don't also do, they don't just do products such as that. You will also have seen the robes. Now, yes, we've all heard about dry robes and everybody talks about dry robes, but you don't get this from a dry robe. This is luxury. This is really, really soft. The dry robe ones, as far as I'm concerned, are a little bit scratchy and not as comfortable. My son won't actually wear them. These are just absolutely brilliant. I really like that. And that, yeah, nice color, isn't that? So the head unit which I've got in my van is the Alpine, but all my camera equipment, each of my cameras is Sony. I love my Sony cameras and I'm actually really tempted to have a look at the Sony Xperia because you can use it with S-Cinetone. Great picture profile for the camera. Maybe Sony might want to send me one? Nah, doubt it. I do value their products and look at this, they've got a cracking selection of different speaker units and head units and look at this product. This is something which is going to appeal to you because this is a big screen product. This is the big screen head unit to be having in your vehicle. It's got wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And I know from speaking to a lot of people that that is one of the things which they are looking at these days. When they're looking at buying a new camper van, a car, a van, or whatever it is, Apple CarPlay is something which is, means a lot to them. If a vehicle hasn't got Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, people are asking, can you retrofit it? Because that is an absolute essential what they need. So having a head unit with that in it is something which obviously is going to be beneficial to them. Mm -hmm. because have you ever rocked up at your campsite, but you wanted to get out and about, but not in your van? You wanted to take a bike, but you're not taking it because it's too big. Look at these. This is my rider or me rider. I've actually got no idea what it's called, but they are foldable electric bikes. And I've heard a lot of people talk about these before and they really, really enjoy doing them because they are fold up. So you can ride them around. It's an electric bike. Yes, you do pedal but they're foldable so you can put them in the back of your van or even your car for that matter and take them with you. But not only do they do them in all these lovely colors of reds and camouflage and greens and orange, but look at that. They actually do it in my brand color. How perfect is that? Do you reckon it'd suit me that? I really quite like that. Ideal for when you get on the campsite and you wanna get out and about, but you don't want to take your van, you just need to nip to the shop, get yourself a coffee from the local farm shop who does fantastic coffee, maybe a bacon butty. Yeah, I do like these. Maybe it's something to put on my must buy list, my this is what I want to buy next list, because I do like that, especially now I've seen it in that color. Is it a bit of you? Is that a toy you'd like to take with you? Not only do they do it in that blue, but look at this one over here. It's actually got a lovely pattern on it. So you know what type of head unit I've got. Yes, the Alpine. And here it is. And they've got them on display. So they've got the older model, the 904. The 11 inch Alpine Halo 11, which I've got. And then obviously the speakers as well. Fantastic units. 
you've seen me talk about them many, many times before. The problem is getting hold of them because I believe they're short on stock. Because they are so popular and with the supply chain being the way it is, it is quite difficult to get hold of them. So if you are after one and you want to buy one, then if you see it in stock, go and buy it because it ain't going to be in stock for long because there's waiting lists. The demand is really, really high, but it's a product which I absolutely personally love. More toys. Now we've got inflatable kayaks. Now I've got an inflatable kayak myself and it is really good. I do enjoy being in my inflatable kayak. Not that I've actually been in it this year because obviously my uh, heart issue has put stop to that, but I really like using mine. However, in the rugged Cornish coast, which I often go around, it's not always the best idea. So I'm actually at the moment looking for something a little bit more solid, something which is going to be pretty much indestructible if I did snag it on a rock. I wouldn't want to be going out there in my kayak, going over a rock and then popping it and then it like sinking. That wouldn't be very good. So that's what I'm looking for at the moment. But if you're only going to be going on the beach where there isn't going to be any rocks, then these inflatable kayaks are a really, really good idea. Do love them. So we've got a couple of different things here. And first of all, we've got the VB Air suspension, but I'm going to talk about that in a little bit more detail in a future video coming up when I can actually show you it in action in a van. But it's a really, really funky system. But what I want to see while I'm here is these, and this is the Avtex TVs. Now, as far as I'm concerned, these are the best TVs which you can actually buy on the market for a camper van. They're absolutely fantastic quality. You won't be able to pick it up from this, uh, from the footage which I've got here, but the quality of it really, really is good. Now, there are other brands which you can get in the market, but none of them really compare to what you actually get with the Avtex. Yeah, there's, I'm not actually going to name them. There's other brands, but the product just is not the same. These are really phenomenally high quality and well worth the money in my personal experience. Look at this for a bit of technology, a bit of technology and a bit of an essential item. This is a 360 degree, I'll say that again, shall I? This is a 360 degree camera, four camera system, which you can get for your vehicle. How many times have I talked before about dash cams and how they can actually save you money in the event of having an accident or something like that? Well, this is 360 degrees. As you can see on the screen here, you can actually see all these four different angles from the van and then a big picture, which kind of gives you that bird's eye view. You often find these on a lot of the bigger motor homes and a lot of the bigger camper vans. You certainly find them on HGV trucks and things. But this, I believe, might well be the first time we've seen it on a camper van. And look at that. We even got it on a splitter. It's the Camos UK 360 degree camera system. And it is pretty impressive. I do really like that. You can't really argue the fact that if you've got something extra as far as safety is concerned, that it's not going to do you any good because it obviously is going to provide you from looking at blind spots, helping you out whilst you're actually driving, but also logging in the event of an accident and potentially helping you if you have parked up and you've had an accident, which obviously somebody did to my vehicle. Somebody hit me and then drove away. Well, with this camera system, you're actually able to obviously track them down because it's 360. So whichever direction they drive off in, you're going to be able to see them. Perfect. So you've seen my fire pit camper van conversation series and you've seen that I need a fridge. Well, look at this total cool and the variety of fridges which they've got here. And actually look at the price of them. Should I say value for money? The value for money which you get with these products is phenomenal. When you consider that some of the ones retail for this similar size product, the same compressor type fridge retail at six, 700 quid. And you can buy this one, which is the 35 liter one and it's 210 pounds. That is such good value for money. And look at the, look what you can get in it. You've got plenty of milk in there. You've got your fruit, your veg, your butter, your cheese. And then more importantly, you've got your cold drinks in here, a bit of champagne to go with it. Look at that, it is perfect. The value of these products is superb. But also, as you've seen in the camper van conversations video, I do have ice and they've got an ice maker. So this is the ice machine. Don't you think that this would be absolutely perfect for the channel? So when my guests need some ice for the drinks, look at that. It takes 10 minutes 
from first putting the water in and actually turning it on to produce the first lot of ice, which is absolutely brilliant. And it produces 14 kilograms of ice in 24 hours. It's the first, and I believe it's the only 12 volt ice maker, which really is pretty good. But also what they do, not only do they do fridges and things, but they do air conditioning units. And you're not gonna be able to feel that, but if you do come down to the show, do get down here and have a look at that because that is producing really, really nice air cooled fresh air. It is brilliant. That is a really, really good product. I like that. And look at the price of it, 269 pounds. Show price, but absolute bargain. So how about this then for another option of a toy, a bike, but this time it's not a fold up bike. These have got a range of various different ones, different shapes and sizes, different purposes. Rudog e-bikes, they're all e-bikes, but they've got lots of different models. I mean, look at that. That, to me, looks perfect for the beach. I've seen a couple of people riding bikes like this on a beach, and I think that would be ideal. Would I be able to get a tow bar on the back of it and actually put the beach buggy on it? Because pulling a beach buggy on the sand can be a bit of a pain. That is rather cool. So there's a massive range here, a range which I'm sure you would find to suit pretty much everybody. And these bikes are really, really well priced. I mean, yes, they're on show offers. They've got the offers on at the show, uh, saving 450 pounds on these bikes. So the good prices for an electric bike, which you can use and take around in your van. Yeah, it's another good option. And look, this one as well has got brand colors. Whenever I see that, it just makes it a little bit more tempting. I shall put a link to the website below. How about this for a toy? Not exactly something you're gonna be able to carry around in the back of your transporter, but maybe if you bought the Morello motorhome, you could shove it in the bike. No, I am joking, of course, you couldn't do that. But look at that, what a toy. Not particularly, particularly in relation to camper vans, like I said, but that is pretty cool. That's been made by Vanworks, and I like that. It's not on my shopping list. Don't worry, it's not on my shopping list, but that's pretty cool. So we've got a few other essentials on it. Well, I mean, you've got solar panels, which I personally would say are pretty much bordering on being an essential item. But more important than that, and a question which does come up time and time again, and I'm always hearing it, and I'm always being asked it, and that is about Wi-Fi. What do you do about Wi-Fi when you're in your camper van? It is an issue which some people have, and they're not always capable of getting a good signal when you're, when you're out and about. I think it's gonna be something which I'm gonna do a video on in the near future, because a lot of these Wi-Fi devices which are out there at the moment are pretty much just based on the 4G network, whereas 5G is now in a lot more areas it is becoming more easily available. And I think it's gonna be something which everybody is gonna have access to very, very soon. So how can you access that? Well, maybe in the future, I'm gonna do a video on that, or maybe I already know that I am and it's already in the pipeline and it's gonna be part of my fire pit camper van conversations. But do look out for my fire pit camper van conversations because they have gone down really, really well. I've been speaking to quite a few people who've recognized me here at the show and they've said how great those, those actual items are. So if you haven't seen them, then do check them out. Anyway, for now, I'm gonna leave you. Take care, I shall see you soon.